So in the last lectures, uh, we have discussed various applications of uh, the operational amplifier such as uh, amplifiers, integrator, differentiator, rectifiers, oscillators, filters, etc. So today we will discuss about one of the specialized IC called as a triple phi timer. Triple phi timer is a specialized IC which uh, basically will be used to generate the exact time delays. This is highly stable IC. Easy to generate. XR time delays. We can generate the time delays using uh, the other circuits such as operational amplifier and all. But in order to generate precise time delays, XR are precise time delays, we will use the triple phi timer. In many of the industrial applications, it is required to generate the precise uh, time delays. Even a 1 microsecond also will causes lot of uh, changes in the operation of the industrial process. So, in such applications uh, we will use uh, triple phi timer. So, I will give some special features of this triple phi timer. So, this triple phi timer was introduced uh, in 1970s. Using a company called uh, Signatics. This operates with a power supply of 5 volts to 18 volts. And this is available as two different ICs SC slash NE555. Five five five. So, SC555 five 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 operates with temperatures minus 55 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius. Whereas, NE555 five 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 0 to 70 degrees Celsius and this is available as 8 pin metal can in round shape or 8 pin mini DIP. DAP stands for dual in line package. Means half of the pins will be on one side, half of the pins will be on the other side. There is a dot here, from here it starts, this is pin number 1. Pin number 2, pin number 3, 4, then 5, 6, 7, 8. This is the ordering of the pins. So, the function of this pin number 1 is this will act as a ground, and this pin number of 8 is VCC, which varies from plus 5 volts to 18 volts and here this will act as a trigger. I will explain the function of each pin after considering the internal circuit diagram of triple phi timer. This will act as a reset output control voltage.
threshold discharge I'll explain the function of this one. Even this is available as 14 pin DIP also. Then this is compatible with uh, both TTL logic family as well as CMOS logic family. You might have uh, studied about this TTL and CMOS in your digital circuits course. So, TTL stands for transistor transistor logic. So, basically, all the logic functions uh, such as AND gate, OR gate, NOT gate, these uh, gates can be implemented by using uh, TTL logic, but the basic logic circuit is universal gate, NAND or NOR. So, using this NAND or NOR, you can implement this uh, AND gate, OR gate and all. Okay. So, you might have used this 7400, 7408, etc. ICS in your digital lab. They are belongs to TTL logic family. On the other hand, there is another family called CMOS logic family. This uses MOSFETs. TTL uses the bipolar junction transistors, it has CMOS uses MOSFETs, MOSFETs are again N type and P type. So, this CMOS uses both N type as well as P type and there are some advantages of the CMOS over the TTL. So, we are going to discuss some of the CMOS circuits in the coming lectures. Okay. So, this uh, triple phi timer IC is compatible with both uh, CMOS logic as well as uh, TTL logic. These are some important features of uh, the triple phi timer. If you consider the internal diagram, this will be like this. I think this is reverse, 4 is reset, 3 is output. So, we can uh, see that here basically there are two comparators, one flip flap. So, this is the upper comparator, this is the lower comparator. So, we know that this comparator acts in a open loop configuration. There are two voltages say V1 is applied to the positive terminal, V2 is applied to the negative terminal. If V1 is slightly greater than V2, then output will be logic 1, high or you can call as logic 1. In digital we have 0 and 1s. If V2 is slightly greater than V1, then output will be low, it is logic 0. And SR uh, flip flap is having this through table. We know that if S is equal to 0, R is equal to 0, no change in the output. If S is equal to 0, R is equal to 1, output Q will be 0. Q bar will be of course, the complement of Q. So, this row is Q bar row. So, we will consider only this Q. So, the flip flap is said to be a reset if reset input is equal to 1, s is equal to 0 or is equal to 1, this is reset input is 1, r stands for reset, s stands for set. Implies output q is equal to 0, that is flip flap is said to be reset. On the other hand, if set input is equal to 1 and R is equal to 0, implies Q is equal to 1 that is flip flap is set. That is why the name set reset flip flap. If both are ones, this is not allowed actually. 
there is a problem with 1 1 in uh, SR but in this application uh, that condition will not arise. So, we have used the RS flip flap and there is a power output this is a power amplifier circuit this will act as an inverter basically. So, for this inverter the input is Q bar. So, what will be output of this inverter? This is Q bar passed through the inverter Q double bar which is equal to Q itself. That means, the output of the IC the stimulify timer is same as the output of the flip flap. Okay. So, this output is equal to Q which is the output of the SR flip flap. But here there is no connection for this uh, Q, only Q bar is connected, but the output that you are going to get here which is equivalent to output of the flip flap Q. And there is a transistor here to reset this triple five timer and there is a discharge uh, transistor here. Okay. Now, coming for the operation of this uh, triple five timer we have two comparators upper comparator will be having a threshold voltage of 2 third VCC and lower comparator will be having 1 third VCC. This is 0 volts we are going to apply a negative going trigger pulse at uh, the pin 2 which is the input applied to the inverting terminal of the op amp. So, this is some positive voltage this is 0 volts. Okay. So, whenever it reaches to a, a value which is slightly less than one third of the VCC, one third of the VCC is the voltage applied for the positive terminal. If the negative voltage here is less than one third of the VCC, what happens according to this? The positive voltage is greater than negative voltage. So, output becomes logic 1 which is yes and uh, at that time we will make this r is equal to 0 as a result of that the flip flap will be set because set input is equal to 1 and this complete operation will be understand if I connect the external components also. Here this I see uh, pins are left floating there are two modes of the operations in uh, which we are going to connect some components to these pins. So, that time uh, you can uh, completely understand the operation of this triple five timer. Now, I am just I mean explaining uh, the functions of the each uh, pin. So, this discharge pin will be used along with the capacitor here we are going to uh, connect a capacitor to charge or discharge this we can use this discharge pin and there is a threshold voltage here we are going to uh, apply this threshold voltage through this RC network. So, if this voltage is greater than two third VCC positive voltage greater means R becomes 1. So, the flip flap will be reset. Then coming for this control voltage. So, this one third VCC and two third VCC is going to control the time duration of the pulse that is going to be generated here at the output we will get a pulse. So, the exact uh, time delays will be generated at this output which will be initially low then we will be having high then it will become slow. This exact time delay will be decided by this one third VCC and two third VCC of this upper and lower comparators this is going to be decided by the threshold voltage and trigger voltage of lower and upper comparators. This also can be controlled by using an extra signal called as control voltage. If you do not want to use this control voltage then the manufacturer recommended that this has to be grounded through the capacitor with 0 0.01 micro farads. So, in that case this two third VCC one third VCC is going to decide this.
and then the reset so at any time if you want to make the output is equal to 0 we can apply a negative going pulse at the reset so that the output can be forced to uh, 0. So, these are the different applications different uh, functions of the pins and these uh, functions will be very much uh, clear if I consider the external circuitry also ok. So, if I consider the application of this triple phi timer is monostable multi vibrator this is a circuit diagram of monostable multi vibrator. We can operate this triple phi timer in two modes one is monostable multi vibrator another is stable multi vibrator. So, in uh, monostable multi vibrator, so these are the external uh, things that we have connected there is a resistor, there is a capacitor and here we are going to take the output. Now, coming for the operation of this triple phi timer in monostable uh, multi vibrator mode initially in standby or stable operation output of this flip flap q bar here the details are not given so in the previous diagram it was given this is r and this is s and this is q bar so, Q bar will be high. You can make this Q bar is equal to high by using some preset and the clear signals of the flip flap. So, initially in standby mode, Q bar is high. So, what happens to this output? Because this is inverter, basically, so if this is high, this will be low. Implies output is same as q because q double bar which is equal to q this will be low. So, this at this output will have the low state this is low. Now, what happens is we have to apply a negative going trigger signal here of short duration. at pin 2. Now, it will start with some positive voltage then it will go this is 0 this is 0 this is some positive voltage. Now, whenever it comes to a value which is slightly less than one third of the VCC if trigger voltage is less than one third of the VCC. What happens to this comparator? The voltage at non inverting terminal is one third VCC and voltage at uh, inverting terminal will be a value which is slightly less than one third VCC. So, what happens? S becomes 1 and at that time R will be 0 because so, in the standby mode or steady state this output is low this output is high. So, this high value of this Q bar will uh, turn on this transistor Q 1. So, once the transistor is on this will act at short circuit and this capacitor will be clamped to the ground. So, this will becomes now ground potential. So, this is also ground potential. So, the voltage at uh, non inverting terminal of uh, upper comparator is uh, 0, whereas at inverting it is 2 third VCC. So, the uh, voltage at uh, negative terminal is greater than voltage positive terminal. So, this makes R is equal to 0. So, this makes some S is equal to 1 and R is equal to 0. 
you can see from the two table that uh, the output Q becomes because set input is 1 flip flap is set. So, Q is equal to 1 means output will be Q itself this output is Q itself as I have discussed earlier 1. So, this will go to the high state. Now, how long this will uh, stay in the high state? That will be decided by now the value at the 6, pin number 6. So, once the output is equal to 1, what happens to this transistor uh, T1? So, this is output is equal to logic 1 means this is logic 0. So, T1 will be off. Off and it will act as open circuit thereby it releases short circuited capacitor. Now, this will act as an open circuit. Now, the capacitor C charges towards VCC through R with a time constant of RC. So, this is the resistor R A, it will charge just towards V C C with a time constant of R A into C. Now, this voltage is going to rise, this is the voltage across the capacitor with respect to the ground. Between 6 and uh, ground, we have the capacitor. So, initially this was 0 in the standby mode. Once if you apply a trigger pulse whose amplitude is uh, slightly less than one third VCC, so this transistor T1 will be switched off as a result of that the capacitor charges. So, here the voltage is going to be this is voltage across the capacitor that charges from 0 to towards VCC. So, whenever this voltage reaches a value which is uh, slightly more than two third VCC, slightly more than two third VCC, what happens? So, this voltage which is voltage at non inverting terminal of op amp is slightly more than that of inverting terminal. So, what happens R becomes 1 and uh, what will be S? S was 1 if I apply this negative going trigger, but this is of short duration after that this becomes some large positive value because this value is one third VCC, this is a value which is greater than one third VCC. So, at that time what happens to this uh, voltage here? This is more than one third VCC. So, negative voltage is greater than positive voltage, so output will becomes 0. So, what happens now? S is equal to 0, R is equal to 1 implies Q is equal to 0. So, this output becomes again 0. Now, this will remain in 0 until the next trigger is applied. This is 0 until nested trigger is applied. At pin number 2 and the same operation will repeat. As a result of that here this is going to be decided by this R A and C. We are going to derive the relation for this uh, pulse duration if I call this as T P we are going to derive this T p expression in terms of this t, if this is t duration, this negative going trigger is having t duration. Okay. So, the same operation is explained with the help of the waveforms here. So, whenever this 
reaches to a value 2 third it, this capacitor charges from 0 and it will charge up to only 2 third VCC only once if it charges to 2 third VCC the output becomes low so this is the starting point where this trigger value will be less than 1 third VCC and it will stop here where the voltage at 6th uh, pin is greater than 2 third VCC. This is the point where the voltage at pin number 2 is less than 1 third VCC. In between if I want to make this to 0, even if you apply this trigger pulse again it will not respond. So, only way to bring this in between to the ground is you can apply a reset signal. If you apply a reset signal here, so what happens this output becomes this output becomes 0, here itself it will become 0. So, you see the operation of this triple phi timer. Now, we can derive the expression for the the time period Tp of this monostable multi vibrator. So, for that we know that the voltage across the capacitor is V final into 1 minus e to the power of minus t by r c. So, what is V final? This capacitor charges towards V c c, but of course, if it charges up to the 2 third V c c, the output state will changes, but the final value will be V c c. So, this will be V c c times 1 minus e to the power of minus t by r c. this is the output initially in standby mode 0 and whenever you apply the trigger whose amplitude is greater than 2 third VCC it will go to high and it will stay in the high till the voltage at pin number 6 is slightly greater than 2 third VCC after that it will goes to low and see the pulse duration Tp. if I call this as t is equal to 0 and this as t p. So, at t is equal to t p, what is this voltage? This is 2 third V c c output across the capacitor is Two third VCC. You can see from here also. This is two third VCC at T is equal to Tp. This is the expression for voltage across the capacitor. If I substitute this condition here, we'll get two third VCC is equal to VCC times one minus e to the power of minus T becomes Tp. This Tp, which we are interested. VCC VCC get cancelled. So, e to the power of minus T by R C is equal to 1 minus 2 by 3 is equal to 1 by 3 implies minus T by R C is equal to logarithm of 1 by 3 or if I make this as positive sign T is equal to R C logarithm of 3 because this minus sign becomes plus if I take this as 1 by a, if it, this is 1 a, 1 by a. So, a is 1 by 3, 1 by a becomes 3. This value will be, this is of course, Tp. Logarithm of 3 is approximately equal to 1.1. Of 
कोर्स इन द फिगर वी आर कॉलिंग एज ई आर ए एंड रिटर्न एज आर ए बोथ आर सेम ओनली कैन राइट आर ए ओनली So this is the expression for this time period. Okay, by properly choosing R and C, we can precisely generate the time delays. If R is equal to one k, C is equal to point one microfarads, then what will be T P? One point one into ten to the power of three into point one into ten to the power of minus six. This eleven. If I take this as one, oh, this is equal to one ten microseconds. You can precisely generate the delays of the order of a uh, milli as well as a microseconds also. So this is a monostable multiode. This is having plenty of applications. So before going for the application, why this is called a monostable multivibrator? Because There will be only one stable state. This is called low state. This is high state. So this high state is temporary. So whenever you apply the trigger pulse, then it will go to high, and finally it will comes to low only. So one stable state is low. That is why it is called as monostable multivibrator. So we will discuss some of the applications of this monostable multivibrator in the next lecture. Thank you.